welcome back to another video today no welcome back to another video everybody i had a request to do a video uh covering all of like my little uh changes i've made to my computer for cs all of my configuration um to help in-game performance and to help uh the game to be to more of my liking so that's what I'm going to be doing today, just going over that. Um, I normally don't enjoy watching these kind of videos or making these kind of videos because I feel like it influences people's decisions too much. And what it really comes down to is what you're comfortable with. Um, but disregarding all of that, we're going to go ahead and show off what I am comfortable with. So in my auto-execute, uh, I don't have too much compared to other people, but I may have a lot compared to you. Um, FPX. FPS max uh, 999 that just makes it so it there's no hard cap at FPS at 300 um, This is my jump throw uh, This shows team equipment and it well I actually have it set so it only shows a triangle over my teammates heads This shows my position um, in the top left this enables console This is so if I press oh there we go if I press the side of my mouse uh, the mouse 4 button it not only clears decals, it also changes voice enable, and it also plays a little sound, and it plays a different sound each time, so I know if voice is enabled or disabled based off the sound. Um, and it also, in the top left, says voice enabled or voice disabled. Uh, and then I have my smoke crosshair. This just makes a very extended crosshair, and then I can switch it back to my normal crosshair, which is here. And then I have echo auto uh, execute .cfg loaded in console. This will show, it will just say uh, auto execute CFG loaded in console when I open up the game. So I just know that it's for sure loaded. I also have a warmup.cfg. Um, this just, I can execute it in an offline server, and it will immediately um, set up like a good warm-up server it makes the time long i can buy anywhere kicks the bots that kind of stuff so now let's get into my nvidia control panel settings lots of people are going to use nvidia freestyle i don't use any of that the only thing that i've done is i've added a custom resolution and there's tons of videos out there on how to do this um I'm, i feel like you can just do create custom resolution here but um how to get it like stretched and all that there's tons of videos out there but so this is 1440 by 1080. This is a 4.3 resolution. I don't play at 16.9. I play 4.3. It's stretched, but it's HD stretched. All the in-game ones were a little bit too blurry for me, and I don't like 16 by 9 as much. So this is an HD 4.3 resolution, and I do play at 144 hertz. So now let's look at my launch options. Um, lots of people are going to have tons of launch options trying to get every little bit of fps out that they can um i am not hurting for fps so i guess i've never been drawn to that so i have no vid which skips the intro to cs so it just opens up a bit faster and then i have tick rate 128 so if i do launch an offline server the tick rate is set to 128 and that makes a difference between 64 and 128 because if you if you're throwing smokes um, some are different for 128 to 64 tick, so they land differently. Also, I have Vibrance GUI. Um, I highly recommend this. It allows you to up the actual in-game in -game vibrance or saturation. It makes the colors pop a bit more. Uh, Hiko uses this uh, out the fucking ass. Uh, if you ever watched one of his streams, it's like, it's like watching Fortnite, basically. So now we're going to jump in-game and check out those settings. All right, watch out. I'm over here now. So uh, my settings, we have keyboard, mouse. I play at 800 DPI, and my mouse sensitivity is 0.84. This is a bit lower than what, uh, like, in the, in the range, it's on the lower end of it of what pros usually play on um, and what the majority of people usually play on. This is at the lower end. It's not an extreme, but it is at the lower end. Um... A normal, like an average, would probably be at 800 DPI playing at 1 sensitivity, so I'm 16 lower than that. And then my zoom sensitivity is 0.78, which is even lower. I have raw, put, raw input turned on. I'm like 99% sure that everybody wants to do that, um, so probably have this setting, but don't quote me on it if it fucks you up. Uh, mouse Excel, it's not completely horrible. I used to play with it. I've turned it off now just because I have. Uh, it gives me more consistent flicks. Um, as if I can ever hit them in the first place. Um, but I know that Brax plays with mouse acceleration. I'm pretty sure Guardian plays with mouse acceleration. So it's not completely horrible. It just makes it so the faster you move your mouse, the more movement you will actually get. 
um, and then blah, 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 use keys. Everything is basically the same. I don't have buy binds. My Q is not quick switch. I never like that. My Q is uh, my jump throw. Um, I have my H bound to the smoke crosshair, and then caps lock is my microphone. So game settings, we have everything is basically default. Uh, the HUD's a little bit different. Um, the color's purple. I do have mini scoreboard style, so it just shows the player count, not the actual player avatars. And then my radar is um, 0.98 on the HUD, and then the zoom is actually 0.36. The zoom being 0.36 enables me to see the entire map on my radar without having to press tab, um, because if you do press tab, it does make the map into a square and it shows it bigger. Um, but And that's how you do that. So with the yes right here. But so, yeah, I, I just have it all showing up on the radar. No problemo. I like seeing where my teammates are. And then audio settings wise, I'm at 15% volume. If I'm in a game, I'll probably up it to 20 to 25. If I'm warming up, it stays from 0 to 10. Uh, I am at 100% windows volume. So that's, that's why it can be low and I can still hear things. Uh, music, fuck that. Blah, blah, blah. I do use stereo headphones out of all these options. Stereo headphones I found to be the best. Um, you do want to make sure that you have 10 second warming volume, warning volume, at least somewhat high. So you can hear, uh, after with like bombs planted, when there's 10 seconds remaining, music starts to play. It helps a lot, especially if you have a kit. Um, and then here we go. My actual video settings. I play at 80% brightness. I might up that in the future, but right now 80% is fine for me. Cold Zera plays on television, if I'm not mistaken. I like computer monitor. It just messes with the colors a bit. Again, I do play at 4.3, 1440 by 1080. And then here are all my settings. I will link in the description a fill, uh, video to 3 Clicks Philip. Um, he did a video describing, like, uh, testing all the different uh, shader settings and all that kind of shit for smokes. I found that this is the best. I used to play on low effect detail and low shader, but I, I like the high a bit better. Um, again, that comes down to personal preference. Also, personal preference is that I don't play with anti-aliasing. Um, not at all. I don't like it. Um, it's supposed to smooth out corners, and to me, it just looks blurry, and it fucks me up. Or at least I think it does. So I have that turned off. Texture filtering mode, I have it turned down to the lowest possible setting. This just makes it so the further away I am from textures, the less they actually render. So the more like solid colors thing look, well things look. So if I'm far away from a, uh, a wall, somebody standing in front of that wall is really gonna pop out a bit more. And of course you're gonna wanna have motion blur disabled. So that's about it, I do have my HUD tightened a bit so I don't have to you know strain my eyes the extra inch on either side to see all of my HUD but that's about it um, if you have any questions or want any links I will I, I will be linking the video by three clicks Philip and I will be linking a video uh, that I made showing you how to make a jump throw bind since I briefly covered that I did have a jump throw bind um, but if you want any more details or anything please leave a comment and ask a question so thank you all for watching have a good day, and I will see you tomorrow.